Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Jaime here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to start your social media marketing agency and get it up and running, potentially signing clients in just one single week. What I would do each day to make sure that by the end of the seven days, I've got my agency up and running and potentially even getting results. So really excited for this video. It's going to be of a ton of value to a lot of you who are thinking of starting your social media marketing agency. You don't quite know where to start. You don't have that roadmap that you can literally take step by step to get results. And so that is what this video is going to accomplish. It's going to give you a roadmap that you can literally apply and take day by day so that by the end of seven days you've got an agency that is up and running and potentially getting results so really excited for this and let's get right into it so i want you to imagine that today is day one and we are going to do three things today number one is picking your service Number two is picking your e-commerce niche. And number three is picking your mission. What is the one thing that you are actually trying to accomplish? What is the one way that you are gonna add value to business owners where they're gonna be more than glad to pay you for it? So let's get right into it. So first things first, when picking your service, you wanna pick an in-demand online service. Right now, some of the services that are hot are Facebook ads, uh, things like Google ads, for example, SEO. These are all good services that you can pick. I personally recommend Facebook ads, especially if you're gonna do e-commerce as a sector, which I, by the way, recommend. If you guys wanna learn a bit more about this, I've got a free masterclass where there's nothing for sale, where I actually walk you through how to pick your service and your niche. So go ahead and check out the link in the description after this video. Within e-commerce, however, you're gonna have to find a sub niche. This could be something that you are very passionate about. If, for example, you're very passionate about tech, you can go ahead and pick tech as a sub niche. And the final thing is your agency mission. What is the one thing that you are trying to accomplish for these business owners? This should be a short and simple sentence where your value proposition and how you help them is very clear. Okay, all done there. Cool, let's go right into day two and day three. Because during these two days, we're gonna do what I call the vanity side of the agency, which is number one, the website. Number two is the logo. Number three is gonna be cleaning up your socials and number four is going to be your email address your business email address so potentially setting up your google suites so now let's get right into that so when doing the vanity side of things there's a few things to keep in mind number one is you don't want to spend too much time on this this is not really the stuff that's going to generate real results the stuff that's going to generate real results is going out there and signing clients and that is what an agency is built on we're not building an e-commerce brand or website where yes there needs to be that that branding component at the same time i truly truly believe that this will set you apart from a lot of agency owners who just I, you know, haven't really put the time into making their agency look professional. And look, if you want premium clients, you're going to have to have a premium look. And that is just how it works. You can't expect to sign top level clients having a really bad looking uh, website, a uh, website that is not really optimized either for results and also just really unprofessional personal profiles, which is the next thing that I want to get into. If you're reaching out to them on social media, I'm talking Facebook, Instagram, at least have a professional look, right? Get rid of those pictures where you're with your friends having a few beers or pints at the local pub. Those are not really going to land well on a professional setting. So get rid of those. Also get a business email. That's going to give you quite a big edge. Okay, cool. So that is that for day two and three. And on day four, we start hiring our A team, the people that are going to actually deliver the results for us. It's incredibly important that you do this because you don't want to do everything yourself. That is not going to allow you to scale your agency very quickly. So you want to hire someone that is going to take care of your service delivery. If you pick, for example, Facebook ads, it's going to be someone that knows how to do Facebook ads. If you pick copywriting, it's going to be someone that knows how to write killer copy. The key here is that they're an A player, that they are an expert at their service, and that it's also a person that we are going to get along with. So let's get right into that. This day is going to be extremely important, and it's probably going to drag out for you maybe a few days, even a few weeks. And I really recommend that you put enough time, focus, and attention on this because having a really good team member is going to make building your agency so much easier. Why? Because when you actually sign the clients, if you can get them results, then you can keep them on for a very long time. And it's much harder to sign a client than to keep a client. So if you can just keep your clients for longer, then that means that you don't have to go out and sign so many clients to just have a really good uh, monthly income. Okay. So it really pays a lot of dividends to hire the right person. And there's a few places that we are going to look for this person. I personally recommend Facebook, Reddit, and Upwork. Those are really the three best places to look for a contractor. So that is that for day four. And the next thing we are going to do is we're going to drop a big thumbs up on this video. It really helps out the channel a ton. So go ahead and drop a big thumbs up and also go ahead and subscribe to my channel. There's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship and a 3-6 approach to SMMA. So you're not going to want to miss that. And so with that being said, let's get back into it. Day five is going to be all about picking our outreach methods. How are we going to reach out to the business owners in our niche? Now, there's a few ways that you can go about picking in your outreach methods. What I urge you guys to ask yourselves is, what is the typical day of a business owner in my niche, right? If it's a tech, you know, for example, going back to, to that example that I gave previously, 
uh, very early on in, in the video is if you're doing e-commerce and the tech sub niche, then where are they usually hanging out, right? Where are they gonna be most receptive to my outreach and where I'm gonna be able to get in front of them without so much noise. And then I personally recommend that you pick three hours methods. So that is that for day five and day six is gonna be all about lead sourcing and writing the email copy that we are gonna send out to these business owners. When it comes to lead sourcing, I recommend that you do this at the end of your work days. So when you're actually getting to work, you are ready to go in for the kill. And so you're mainly gonna do the lead sourcing at the end of your day. And when it comes to writing the email copy, make sure that there's a very clear call to action. What are you trying to get them to do? For example, are you trying to get them to jump on a call with you and discuss further, which is usually the main call to action. You actually need to have a meeting for us to, uh, to get them to buy into your service and getting them to roll into your agency. And also don't just write one single email, have a set of follow-ups so that if they don't answer, then you still hit them with another email. Most people won't actually respond to the first email. So it's very important that you follow up with them and that you have a very solid follow-up system in place. And finally, day seven, the fun stuff, we actually reach out to the business owners. This is really the fun stuff, as I said, and we're gonna begin reaching out to these business owners. And two things that I recommend you do. Number one is from now on, spend at least 80% of your time on this right here. Okay. The sole mission right now is to sign clients. And that is what's going to give you oxygen as an agency owner. Number two is look back over the data, right? Look at the numbers. What is coming back? What is working? What is not? Iterate according to feedback. The email copies that you wrote on day six, they're probably going to go through a lot of iterations. They're not the final copy. So keeping that in mind, you know, do your best when it comes to writing good email copy, right? But understand that that's not going to be the final version, right? Even if you get decent results, you can always iterate it. There's always room for improvement. So guys, that is the end of our seven day process to building a social media marketing agency and potentially even getting results with it. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a big thumbs up. YouTube just loves when that thing turns blue. So I'd really appreciate it. Also leave down below in the comments, any questions you may have on this video and I'll be sure to check those out. If you haven't checked out my free private mentor community, The Client Closers, it's honestly an incredible community full of like-minded people looking to scale their agency and level up in life. So if you wanna check that out, go ahead and check out the link in the description. And as always guys, hope everything's going well in your agency journey and I'll see you in the next one, peace.